get ready to be for the starting gun. Oh, yeah. And to be thrown into a real-life drama of the races. This is going to be great. ITV has a brand-new show. Puts you right in the saddle of a sport that has gripped the nation from the paddock all the way to the Royal Box. Take a look. This is the story of one season with millions of pounds of prize money at stake. Right now, there's so much title talk. The Jumps Trainers' Championship is rarely this close. It's absolutely nail-biting. He likes to be the guardian of that trophy. He ain't going to give it up easily. Jockey's out, please. It's almost too close to call in the race to be champion jockey. The rivalry's massive. We joke around inside here. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, we're not friends out there. I will win on this horse. It's brutal on your family life. But any elite sport, there has to be sacrifice. It's just very emotional. That is so, so close. I mean, we are in. That's great. Ed Chamberlain there as well, who's our, uh, our race guy, ITV. And that was Champions Full Gallop. And two of the uh, star jockeys are with us today. Harry Cobden is here in the studio. And from his stables in Stratford-upon-Avon, Sean Bowen is with us as well. Hi, and, Sean. And also with us, uh, Harry Herbert, the son of the late Queen's racehorse manager, the man behind Britain's most successful racehorse ever, and someone who just happens to be one of our friends, husbands, <laughs> It's Cloda. She's Cloda. done She's very well for herself. Home. Look at this handsome brute. <laughs> She's done really well for herself, oh. as far as I'm concerned. But, I mean, what a show. So, so good. Harry, have you seen it yet? And what do you think? I have. I've seen the first episode. Um, I thought it was very, very good, very interesting, uh, exciting, and I wanted to watch the next one. Hey, what was it like to be part of it? Did, I mean, did it change how you approached your day-to-day? -day? I mean, jo you know, being a jockey is a very focused, intense experience, you work very hard, you, uh, you know, you can be more than two, two in one places in one day, can't you? I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty full on. I must admit, when they said that we were going to have a camera crew yeah. follow us round for the majority of last season, I thought, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> be, this is going to be hassle. But the, we had a really good relationship with the, with the guys that were doing all the filming. Um, they were no hassle at all. And yeah. after a week, you didn't even realise they were there. Really? Yeah. You just got used to it. Just got on with it. I love the fact that you said, oh, I couldn't wait to watch the next episode. Well, you know what happened. It's your life. <laughs> you know exactly what's going on. Yeah, but there's just so much in there. And um, I think, you know, the producer's done such a good job of putting it together. Yeah. And it's... Yeah, I'm in it. So much in there you haven't exciting. seen as well, right? Say again. So much in there you probably haven't seen. Oh, loads, as well. loads of stuff. Um, Harry Herbert, um, <laughs> racing is your world. So what do you, what do you make of it? You've seen it. I was blown away by it. I mean, it is the most. It's the best best thing I've ever seen filmed in racing. That shows what these guys go through. Um, these beautiful horses. All the characters involved. And this build-up, as everyone's going to see, to the King George V, you know, one of the most important races of the season, yeah. um, uh, it is quite extraordinary. I mean, it, uh, it, it, sort of spoiler alert, can't say too much, yeah. other than it, it's a must-watch. It's the rivalries that I like. I like all the rivalries and stuff like that. It's unbelievable. I think, uh, what, I think what I love is the fact that it's... And we said it kind of to a point in the, in the, in the intro, that you've got... Like, it takes on all comers racing. So you have, you know, you've got this the kind of raw connection, but it goes, you know, it's, it's, it goes all the way through society. Do you know what I mean? And, and, in, and that yeah. goes to the people that work in the racing as well. And I think that, you know, certainly in, in only the first episode, I think that all comes through loud and clear. Um, it certainly comes through in, you know, what, what I do, yeah. getting hopefully new people into racing and sort of fractional ownership. And you can literally have your, you know, one of the wealthiest folks in the world alongside someone who saved up a few quid or you can come into a, you know, a racing syndicate, syndicate for, yeah. for 50 yeah. quid yeah. Um, and quite, get involved. Are you quite excited, the fact that the public are going to actually see into this world now? You've been living it since you was a child. <laughs> are you excited that people are actually going to get to understand it? So excited. I was thinking, watching and um, Harry here in that show and thinking, my God, I'm excited. I, this is what I do day in, day out. Um, Thankfully, I'm six foot six and would never have been, never been a jockey. <laughs> but um, I think what comes through in this show is absolute is the love, first and foremost, is the love of the horse yeah. um, and the care of the horse. But also, it, you know, the trainers, um, you know, one Irish trainer in this, this um, programme is simply sensational, isn't yeah. it, Shark? And then, um, as everyone's going to see, and his horse, the big outsider. And having so few horses in this, aiming into this one big race, mm -hmm. I think is fantastic because we can all get to grips with the characters behind the scene and 
get to know you and your um, fellow jockeys a bit better. Well, it well, is all about characters, yeah. isn't it, and rivalry and stuff like that. And we're going to go down the line now to Stratford on Avon uh, to Sean Bowen. Good morning, Hi, Sean. Sean. How are you doing? Hello, all good, thank you. Introduce us to your lovely friend. Uh, this is Strong Leader, uh, so we're at Ollie Murphy's yard, and um, he won us a big race last year at the Grand National Festival. Oh, lovely. So Tell us, how did you feel having all the crew with you at all times? Yeah, it's, it's a lot, to be honest, um, but they were actually very good. They worked around us. We didn't actually have to go out our way and do too much, and, and, and they, they sort of understood that our job was 24-7 and never stops. Um, I think the only time they weren't filming was when I went to bed, so, uh, yeah, no, it was good fun. And Harry and Sean, have you guys sort of race each other? We sort of, is this kind of, like, Verstappen, Lando, Norris vibes? What's, that you sort of brought up together and been racing together since you were year dot? Yeah, oh, literally since we were pony racing when we were 12 or 13. Um, unfortunately, Harry ended up being the Verstappen and I was the Norris last year. <laughs> so, um, yeah, hopefully we can change that this year. <laughs> and, Harry, do you go out for drinks with each other or is that not a thing? Or do you go out for meals with each other? Sit in the sauna with each other. We, we, we wouldn't actually socialise on a daily... on a, on a, on a sort of... Uh, out of hours uh, because I sit with him all day during the races. So the last <laughs> thing I want to do is go out and sit with him all, all, all evening. Yeah. So, uh, but we've got a great relationship. We, I've known Sean since the age of about nine, and uh, we did pony racing together. And then we actually got our licenses out, and um, we've sat next to each other in the in the weighing room ever since we've started riding. So uh, yeah, we've got a good relationship. And Sean, do you hope this kind of focuses attention on how? what a hard job being a jockey is, in the sense of, you know, you have to make the weight, you've got to know the horse so well, you've, you know, you, you, it, it's kind of tiny increments as to whether you can win or lose. Yeah, there's, there's so much in it, and um, the, the work, I suppose, in and out, which you'll see ev every day, um, it's non-stop, so... Um, yeah, the, the weight obviously can be an issue. Luckily for me, I'm, I'm quite light, but a lot of people don't get to eat much and have to do a lot of work day to day as well. So, look, it's, um, it's a good job. We wouldn't change it for the world. And, um, yeah, hopefully everyone will get an insight to what we do every day. Yeah, great stuff. And, Harry, do you work with these riders as well? Are they phenomenal when you work with them? Well, I, I would go down, for example, to Paul Nichols's yard where we, we've got hike to have some, some horses. And um, so I'll see Harry schooling which is yeah. teaching horses how to jump and um you know our own all of it i mean i can never get tired of that you know as as, as you'll see in the program they have to learn how to how to jump you don't just sort of you know and if they don't jump well then he's in big trouble <laughs> so yeah yeah very much They're so absolutely um, fearless yeah. but it's it, it, you know it's not all about race day, and i think that's what that's what this um, series is going to share everyone there's so much more this is the behind the scenes it's what goes on to prep a horse for the big occasion mm. and the nail biting build up to the race. It's just fantastic. Oh, it's well, listen, it's Harry's amazing. and Sean, thank you so much. <laughs> Lovely chatting to both of you, all of you. Uh, Champions Full Gallop uh, drops on Friday. ITVXM will be on ITV1 at 9pm. Thank you, guys. Thank you so uh, much.